The other day I was watching a video um, on YouTube about uh, Saab, you know, the car brand. Oh, yeah, yeah. I yeah. Heard of them. Okay. Um, well, are you familiar with the fact that they also uh, make aircraft? Or at uh, least they did make oh, aircraft. No, I had no idea about that. Yeah, so uh, Saab's actually kind of known for making aircraft. Um, they made military aircraft, and uh, they they actually have a long history of it. And in the 90s, you know, they were selling their cars. And and how do I say this? Saab is just kind of a weird brand. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's not bad. It's not. I'm, I'm not saying anything bad about them. I'm just saying that they're quirky. Okay. Uh, and it takes a particular type of person to be into a Saab. I mm -hmm. mean, for a while, and again, not a bad thing, I wanted a Saab for a while. Um, they were fast. They were sporty. Mm -hmm. um, they had a lot of good features. But they're a little different. They take a special type of person to yeah, want yeah. one. <laughs> uh, architects and engineers, I think, mostly. Mm -hmm. um, but in the 90s, in 93, they actually... Uh, had a very popular car called the Saab 9000. Okay. And the Saab 9000 was, um, you know, just a, a mid-sized car. It was a decent-sized car, a decent power, nothing wrong with it. Mm. But they decided to make a prototype out of one of their 9000s and use a little um, airplane technology. Okay. So what they did was they removed um, the steering wheel and they replaced it with a joystick. Like mm. you'd see like like a fighter jet would have. Oh, okay. Wow. So your arm would sit on the armrest and it would hold a joystick. Yeah. Huh. Which I guess, you know, looking back, you know, hindsight is always uh twenty twenty, but um it just seems like a terrible idea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I don't know exactly what they were thinking. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe at the time, you know, they had some reason to try this, mm. but uh, in the public, they were just basically saying, you know, airplane technology in a car and mm -hmm. or fighter jet technology, which sounds like, wow, you're really getting an advanced car. Right. Um, and I also heard little comments like, because in the 80s and the 90s, a lot of video games were played with joysticks. Mm -hmm. Look, we're bringing up all these children. They're used to joysticks. You know, it'll be easier for them to drive. Right. But if you just think about the simple mechanics of, driving mm -hmm. like when you go to parallel park yeah. when you're backing the car up your steering wheel maybe will rotate two and a half times one direction to get the wheels all the way over and then you know all the way in the other direction so mm -hmm. that could be you know three or four times mm -hmm. all the way and if you think about that like a joystick you're driving it with one hand so it's not going to right rotate all the way around yeah so your movements will only go like 180. Mm -hmm. So where the the steering wheel may go, you know, two full rotations or more, um, this wouldn't even do a full rotation. So as you brought it up to speed, people noticed it was kind of touchy yeah. to drive. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know. I. I saw this, I kind of wanted to talk about like weird inventions and mm. like where things have come from and what was weird at the time that would seem normal now or maybe what was normal then and yeah. seems uh, weird now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I was also thinking, is there a way to correct this? Like maybe they were just way ahead of their time. Um, there are some cars out there that are more like, uh, like drive-by wire systems where they can have a variable... I think they call it like a variable or geometry steering or a variable mm -hmm. steering. I, I'm not sure what the yeah. correct term is, but it basically means when you're at slow speeds and you move the wheel, it moves the, the front wheels a lot. Mm -hmm. And then if you, when you're at speed, like highway speeds, when you move the wheel, it barely moves the front wheels. That way it corrects for, you know, when you're going faster, you're not mm -hmm. going to want to, you know, veer off into the into the ditch or something. Right. Um, so maybe they could apply that to the joystick, and maybe the joystick isn't really a oh, terrible idea. I don't know. What about uh, a situation where you have to like quickly swerve out of the way for a deer that jumped into the road? Uh, you know, um, 
Okay, mm. I didn't. Uh, I didn't think of that. Maybe this isn't a great idea. <laughs> um, 